hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another tutorial for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video so i'm starting my hair on freshly co-washed hair i use my talia wajid conditioning co-wash and i'm going to be using my cream of nature um, strength and shine leave-in conditioner to kind of set my hair and prepare it for styling so i already have my hair twisted in sections and i'm just going to spray my um, leave-in then I'm adding my Talia Wajid Monoy oil. I love this oil so much. It makes my hair really, really, really soft. Then I'm just going to twist the section back up. So I'm doing the same thing all over. And I'm just going to give you guys a little length check because I never do length check videos. So yeah, this is where my hair currently is at. And on the other side, this is where it's at, it's kind of at my waist, sort of. <laughs> no. So this is all the shed hair I got. Now time to start styling. So you're going to section out a front part of your hair and just keep it out of the way. Then for the back, I divided my hair into 10 sections. And just use loose flat twists to keep my hair out of the way I also realized that this could be a base for a really nice protective style updo so I'm gonna probably gonna do another tutorial based on this flat twist thing at the back anyway so the front section we're gonna divide it into four do four flat twists so I'm just showing you the first flat twist I put some oil on my scalp to oil my scalp and I'm going to use my Talia Wajid style cream for the flat twist this is another product I love you guys know I love the Talia Wajid line so much because it makes my hair really soft so yeah um, I already have a flat twist tutorial I'm gonna link it down below so make sure you watch it if you don't know how to flat twist So now um, I'm doing another section of the flat twist. So yeah, these are the four flat twists in front. Now time to put the perm rod. So I'm just going to use a bobby pin to hold my hair in place so it doesn't move. And I'm using my cream of nature style and shine foamy mousse. I use it for all my perm rod sets and all my flexi rod sets. So time to put the perm rods. Now this is the first mistake I made. I am, you see the direction I'm rolling my hair in from root to tip. You do not want to do that if you have kinky hair. You want to roll it in the opposite direction. I made this mistake throughout my entire head. I don't know why I did that. I've done rod sets before and I never make this mistake. But yeah, please roll it in the opposite direction. That's because you want your hair to lay flat. If the roots, if the tips of your hair aren't flat enough, the style is not going to last and it's going to be really frizzy. You're going to see it in the video. Roll it in the opposite direction. Please do not make the same mistake I made. Roll it from tip down to the root, not from the root to the tip. Anyways, for the back sections, um, once again, I'm using my style cream to do the flat twist. Then I'm going to put perm rods at the end. And I use um, a bobby pin to hold the middle of my hair so it doesn't unravel. I put um, two perm rods at the end of each flat twist. That was because my hair is really thick. That's why I said I probably should have done more sections, about 15. I only did 10. So yeah, that's another mistake you shouldn't make. The reason why I'm showing you guys all these mistakes is that I want you to know that everybody makes mistakes when they're doing their hair. I never get my hair perfect on the first try. And most people think I just do my hair and it comes out perfect immediately. No, I make mistakes, then I go back and tweak the style until when I finally am satisfied with what I'm seeing. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. Um, I use those gold cuffs to hold my hair so that it doesn't unravel because I realized that the bobby pins weren't working. 
Anyways, the next morning I'm putting some oil on my fingers before I take down my hair. So now you're gonna see what I'm talking about with the frizz as I'm taking down my hair. You see how the body of the curl is kind of smooth, but towards the end it's really really frizzy. You don't want that. It's better for you to have the ends of your hair smooth and defined and the body frizzy um, as opposed to having the body smooth and the ends frizzy. It looks good now, but once you start taking your hair down and um, fluffing your hair, it's going to be just a hot mess. Frizz, frizz, frizz anywhere. And personally, I like frizz, but when it's too much, like it bothers me sometimes. So I'm just unraveling my hair. As you can see, it's already starting to frizz up. All my definition is basically lost already. I mean, it's nice if you're going for a very, very fluffy style, but that's not what I was going for in this video, so yeah. what it looks like no my edges aren't laid because my edges don't respond to anything so I don't leave my edges I leave them like that and I just use the band to hold this and make it look like it puff now for my second try I redid my flat twist to make them nicer and instead of doing flat twist at the back I just did single sections of perm rods when I take it down you're gonna see how much more defined my curls are so you see it's way smoother and the ends are much much more defined even if I'm gonna give myself frizz at the end when I'm fluffing it's not going to be as bad as it was before and the style is gonna last longer so yeah instead of doing flat twist just do single perm rods and please start rolling your hair from tip to root, not root to tip. So this is what it looks like fluff. You see, I know it's kind of frizzy, but this is how I like my hair. It's frizzy, but you still have some definition. It still looks really nice. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the style. Definitely let me know what you think below. Like I said, I don't lay my edges. My edges do not lay. at the back mm -hmm. so yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe share let me know what you guys think down in the comment section i'll see you guys later bye